pre-statistics, the distributive law, and simplifying expressions. Lesson objective, simplify expressions using the distributive property and combining like terms. Lesson objective number one, a term is a constant variable or a product of a constant and variable and one or more variables raised to powers. Variable terms are terms that contain variables. Constant terms are terms that do not contain variables. These are terms that stay the same. Here's the distributed law, or sometimes called the distributed property. This is where we have a quantity A times a sum, in this case B plus C. So it's A times B plus A times C. So in words, we find A times the quantity B plus C distribute A to both B and C. Example one, find the product. Number one, we have three times the quantity X plus five. So we have to distribute the three over the X and over the five. So this is three times X, three X plus three times five, which is three X plus 15. Number two, distribute to five. Five times two x is 10 x plus five times four y, which is 20 y. Example two, find the product of three times the quantity two t minus five w plus four. This time we have three terms, so we still distribute the three times each of the three terms. So we have three times two t minus 3 times 5w plus 3 times 4. This becomes 6t minus 15w plus 12. Example 3. Evaluate both the expressions 3 times the quantity x plus 5 and 3x plus 15 for the given values of x. Number 1, x equals 2. Number 2, x equals 4. And number 3, x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now for number three, we'll use the graphing calculator and the table feature to save some time. So number one, if we substitute two in to this expression, we get three times quantity two plus five. We can combine these two and we get seven. Three times seven is 21. Other expression, three times two plus 15, or of operation says we multiply. We get six before we add, we get 15. The answer again is 21. These are the same. For number 2, x is now 4. We do the same procedure. We do parentheses first, then we multiply. We get 27. For the second expression, we get 3 times 4. We multiply, then we add. And again, we get the same value. Now this suggests that these two are equivalent. So we have our graphing calculator. What we want to do is we want to put the two expressions and what's called the y equals, which is right here. So when you press the y equals, you get this screen. Now if you have a stat plot turned on, you can turn it off by using your arrow key and hitting enter. In this case, my stat plot is off, so I'm okay. So we type in the first expression, three parentheses, x plus 5, close parenthesis. Then for the next expression, we hit enter, it goes to y2, and we want to type in 3x plus 15. We want to use the table feature and compare these two. The table feature can be found by using the second key and then the graph key. And we notice that table is written in blue because when we hit our second key it's blue. So this will change it to table. But before we do that we need to set the table to what we want. We want the values of 1 through 6. We go to second window which is table set. So second window. Okay this is telling me to start at 0. That's what I want. And it's telling me this means how much to count by, and since we want the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we want to count by 1. So now we can hit second and graph, which is table, and we see here are x values, 
we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we see that the y1 and y2 all have the same values. So these two expressions are equivalent. So the results of evaluating the two expressions are equal. Example 4. Simplify. 4x times the quantity 2t minus 3 minus 7. First we have to apply the distributive property. 4 times 2t is 8t minus 4 times 3 which is 12. We can combine these. Minus 12 minus 7 produces minus 19. Number 2. It would be a mistake to take 5 minus 6 because the 6 is multiplying and we multiply before we subtract we can think of this as negative 6 times x and negative 6 times minus 2 which produces negative 6x plus 12. Now we can combine the positive 5 and the positive 12 which gives us a result of negative 6x plus 17. Negative 1 times a is equivalent to negative a so in words, negative 1 times a number is equal to the opposite of that number. Let's do an example using this idea. Example 5. Simplify 7 minus the quantity x plus 9. So the first thing that we want to think about is this minus as a negative 1. So we take negative 1 times x and negative 1 times 9, which gives us 7 minus x minus 9. We can combine these two, and we're left with minus x minus 2. Example 6, simplify the negative of the quantity x minus 4y plus 7. Again, we can think of this minus as a negative 1. Distribute negative 1 over all three terms. Gives us negative x plus 4y minus 7. And if we can see here, Basically, for each term, the sign changed. Now let's do an example involving numerical expressions. Imagine if we didn't have a calculator and we're asked to compute what is 7 times 102. Well, by using the distributive property, we could rewrite this as 7 times 100 plus 2. And then, by using the distributive property, we would take 7 times 100 which is 700 plus 7 times 2 which is 14. So the answer is 714. Now if we're asked to do this problem 6 times 97 well that's equivalent to saying 6 times 100 minus 3 because 97 is the same thing as 100 minus 3 then we distribute the 6 over 100 which is 600 minus 6 times 3 which is 18. So this is equivalent to 582. Combining like terms. To combine like terms you add the coefficients which that's the numbers in front of the variables coefficients of the terms and keep the same variable factors. We simplify an expression by removing parentheses and combining like terms. Example 7 we want to simplify each of these expressions. So for number one, if we were to group the x's together, then the y's together, we have 2x minus 6x plus 5y plus 3y plus 2 plus 7. And combining the coefficients, get a negative 4x plus 8y plus 9. Number two, we have to distribute first negative 2 times x, negative 2 times plus 5y, negative 3 times 2x, and negative 3 times a negative 4y gives us negative 2x minus 10y minus 6x plus 12y. Combining the x's we get negative 8x. Combining the y's we get a positive 2y. Number 3 Again, we have to do the distributive property first. That gives us 4x minus 8 minus x minus 3. 
we get positive 3x minus 11. This is our last example. Example 8, considering the following incorrect work. We have 5x plus 6 plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4. This becomes 5x plus 6 plus 3x plus 4. Bonding like terms we get 8x plus 10. Now there's a mistake here. We want to verify this mistake by using the graph and calculator and then we want to pinpoint where the error was made. Putting this in our graph and calculator in y1, 5x plus 6 plus 3 times x plus 4, and in y2, 8x plus 10. Using our table feature, we see these values are not equivalent, so an error has been made. So since the calculator illustrates that the two expressions are not equivalent, a mistake has been made, and the actual mistake is Instead of plus 4, it should be plus 12. The person forgot to distribute the 3 to the 4, which is a common mistake. Thanks for watching.